on, finally. We can find old Jimbo John himself. That's right. Yargrim Bargain. <gasps> the last dwarf with a glorious robotic ass. Oh my gosh, and look at his dick. It's two pincers. Could you imagine that, having a pincer dick? Jeez, look, he's giving us a thumbs up and he's like stroking his glorious beard. <laughs> yeah, Yargrim Bargain. I love it, dude. <laughs> look, what's he doing with... Oops, I fear. Oh, no. <laughs> She's loving it, too, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, she comes down here to party with him. Get away from her dad. Away from prying eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Old Yargrim's got what you need. <laughs> oh, hey, gang. What's good? <laughs> Welcome back. Tomorrow and Mondays. Gordon and I are just here, uh, you know, climbing that mountain, baby. Whew. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know how it is. It's, uh, it's medicinal. I got the corpus. I got the corpus. I'm, I'm supposed to be taking all of this, uh, sugar. It's to help with the corpus disease. I have the divine disease. And that means, oh, the only answer to the divine is a celestial body in the form of that sweet, sweet sugar. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, I got my uh, my medical license thing here, my uh, my medicine card. You know that way they they know they know to let me in, and oh they they just give me all that sugar. Oh baby, oh my God, that's the good shit. Anyway, we're here in Balizra. We've got the corpus disease. It's not good. It's not a good look. Uh, we have warped out of the hellhole of uh, Six House Base where we got it. We're now at uh, Balizra, as you can tell. We've got the Corpus. We've also still got Blackheart Blight, which ain't great. It ain't great. We're going to probably have to get that fixed up. Uh, that's definitely going to be... I totally forgot that we still had that until I just checked right there. Anyway, we've also built up the old Pillow Fort. Look, it's nearing completion. Oh my gosh. We're only going to need a few more pillows to complete the uh, base structure. After that, my god, I don't know what we'll do. I mean, maybe we can just keep building it higher or something? I don't know. We can have, like, multiple floors. There's no collision, but we could just make it, like, a tower rather than a fort, rather than, like, a little bunker. But, uh, wow, holy crap. So I also cleared out the inventory just a bit. Uh, just a few things. You know, some of the stuff we picked up. Cleared it all out. We got plenty of carry weight now. It's all good. Let's see. Let's talk to one of our friends, and that way you can... Oh, look. <laughs> look, Broder Gorilla. Is so nice. He's so caring about me and my disease state. He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind that I'm diseased. Normally, people look. Everyone here just is ready to suck up to me like crazy. Nobody gives a damn that I'm. Uh, I have the disease. I'm diseased. Look, Gordon. This is. Uh, this is the way it should be. This is the way people should be treating you when you've got a horrific divine disease. When you've been smitten. <laughs> when you've been smitten. When you're smitten with the gods themselves and they disease you with a. An, an old venereal. <laughs> Ooh, man, that's one for the number and two for the show. All right. So let's warp on out of here to uh, Alderoon. We should. We may as well stop in at the temple. We're, we're Elm Sevian. Let's stop in at the temple and get our, uh, our normal shit cleansed. Let's cleanse ourselves. I wonder if the temple people will have any suggestions for us here. Let's see. What brings you to the temple, Patriarch? Look, everyone who, who I'm like the boss of, they don't give a shit. Man. It goes to show how easy it is when you're on top, huh? All right, now this is not what we're looking for. We gotta look for the main, uh, the big kahuna, right? Here we go. Let's make a donation. And get some restoration. You know what, do we want a boon? Do we want a boon? Let's let's grab a boon. Let's get a soul of Sothasil. Why the hell not? Boom, we got a boon. Let's see, and look, our, uh... Oh, look! Well, that ain't good! The Blight is still with us! Huh. Oh, that's because I'm an idiot. Look at this. I've done the Elm CV restoration. I'm so used to clicking on that. That's not what we need. We need Cure Blight. There we go. Bam. Oh, look. It... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, okay. It worked. Huh. For some reason, it felt like it didn't work. Like, our, our carry weight looked about the same, even though it said drain strength. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it didn't say that at all. I don't know. A lot of mysterious things going on. I'm not really paying half attention, because honestly, I'm high as shit right now. <laughs> I'm not actually high as shit, alright? I'm not high in real life. <laughs> I don't do that, but, but you know, we're role-playing a little bit. Isn't that right, Gordon? Where, where the hell is Gordon gone? Where is Gordon gone? My god, he's just roaming around, just tripping balls, being high as hell, too. Alright. 
So we need to get to ba back to old Caius and report in, right? Or do we actually... Did we? No, we didn't do that yet. See, we... All right. Yeah, we have to go report into Caius and tell him, Oh, Caius, I'm all diseased and shit. I'm fucked up, man. It's bad. <laughs> and just, like, slowly start transforming. Now, this guy... Look. You know what? Hey, we should be able to travel for free, shouldn't we? Because we're diseased. We have the disease. I should just... Look, he see, he, see, he even recognizes it. You've got corpus disease, Outlander. That's a death sentence. It can't get cured. Get away from me. Far away. Yeah, just let me ride free in first class. So I'm the only person on the strider. Ugh, I've got the corpus. I've got the corpus. My God. I feel like we should get a lot of allowances here, being as we have the corpus, you know? We should be able to go, uh, oh, guild guide for free. Give us, like, free stuff at the alchemist. Oh my gosh, free enchants? Isn't that right, Gordon? Holy crap. Gordon, we should- we could make a killing off of this. We should have got some insurance before this, because we knew it was gonna happen. We could do just a- a little bit of light, uh, insurance fraud, Gordon. We could do just- just a little bit of health insurance fraud. Just a little bit, you know, walking into traffic, all that sort of thing. I mean, walking into corpus. Walking into six house bases, it's the same thing. What, you walk into a six house base and you didn't expect to get the corpus? You're damn full! <laughs> All right, Caius, what's up? Caius, I got the disease! I'm diseased, Caius! Are you, are you here to discuss your orders, Lyle? Or is there something else you want? With Dagoth, Ge Dagoth Gare's dead, the Sixth House Shrine is no longer a threat. You've more than earned a promotion to the rank of Traveler. Wow, what a rank. I'm very worried that you have corpus disease, but I have some good news in that department. Wait, is he not sure? Do Am I not mutating yet? Do I not have, like, pockmarks and stuff appearing all over my face? It's like a real... It's like a real Deadpool situation, isn't it, huh? Wade Wilson and my ass. All right. Let's see. Uh, continue here. Oh, there we go. I canvassed my informants for possible treatments, just in case you contracted the disease during your mission. I learned from Fast Eddie that your best chance of getting cured... Is Devaith Fear. Ah, our old pal Devaith Fear. We're coming back, baby. An ancient Telvanni wizard who runs a corpusarium for victims of the disease. Now, if you remember, we touched on that a little bit. And I said, oh, well, maybe we don't go in here just yet. Uh, here, take this Dwemer artifact and 100 or 1,000 drakes and go to Tell Fear. Devaith Fear will like the Dwemer artifact. A gift may sweeten his disposition. The gold is for expenses. And here are a couple of levitation post potions. I hear you'll need them in Telvani Towers because wizards don't use stairs. So get moving and get that corpus disease cured. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do that. Then hurry back. I think I know how to get the lost prophecies Nabani Mesa asked for. All right, let's see. Is there anything else we can ask about? Can we ask about the corpusarium? Oh, look, we got the Dwemer Coerer. That's what we needed it for. That was the rare artifact I was talking about a while back when we were going into the first Dwemer ruin. Ah, oh, man, we didn't actually need to... Oh, well, it's part of our collection now, too. All right, tell me about the Corpusarium. The temple sends victims of Corpus disease to the Corpusarium. The Corpusarium is beneath Telfir, the tower of the Telvani wizard Devaith Fear. I asked Fast Eddie what it was like. It's a swell place full of doomed crazy people with bloated bodies. You'll love it! Oh, man. Walmart, huh? I love it. Tell Fear. Devaith Fear's tower is southwest of Sadrith Mora, on an island on the southwestern edge of Zafirbel Bay. Here, let me mark it on your map. There's a dock, but no boat service. So you must water walk or swim from Sadrith Mora. Use the guild guide service at the Balmora Mages Guild to reach Sadrith Mora. At Sadrith Mora, find Wolverine Hall, Fighters Guild, and... Ask about, ask the scout, uh, Sondrin Irathi for detailed directions to Telfir. All right, With let's head on out. Oh my gosh. Heading out in the dead of night, it was a dark and stormy night, and we were full of the corpus. We were slowly turning. Oh my gosh, pieces of us are falling off. A part of my ear has fallen off. My left nut has disappeared. It's gone! Where'd it go, Gordon? Oh, someone, some foul witch has used it in a... Alchemical surprise! Oh no, she's taking my Nerevarine power! My seed, my Nereva, my Nera seed! <laughs> my Nerevara seed! Jesus. <laughs> Good lord. That, that's terrible. What may I, do for you? I love how Galvadir is always talking. My gosh. 
You know, it's gotta be said, gotta have some respect for the Walmart. You know, we're shitting on Walmart earlier. Hey, I mean, I, you know, they treat their employees like shit. That's pretty fucking bad, but, uh, what can I do no harm in shopping at Walmart. Fuck, I, like, 80% of my clothes from Walmart. I'm, I'm cheap as shit. You know, I'm a part of the problem. All right, let's head on over to Vivek, Guild of Mages. Let's do it, baby. Oh my gosh, we're just divine diseasing in here. We're like a, a biological threat. We're oh, doing a, an old Metal Gear over what here. What shall we talk about? Yeah, look. Hey, get away from me! You've got corpus disease! You can't get cured of corpus! Get away! Oh, wait, we're not supposed to go to Vivek yet. My bad. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I just... <laughs> I'm just accidentally spreading the disease out. I'm being... I've got corpus! It's not my fault! I've got the corpus! I can't tell where I'm going! <laughs> For fuck's sake. All right. Oh, yeah, let's check the Mage's Guild supply chest. Oh, look, there are some goodies here. Might as well just take a few. Nab a few. Look, Dating's Panacea. We don't really need that, do we? I mean, we can just put some of these things out here just for future reference, you know? Just in case we ever need them, we, we ever somehow manage to lose our secret amassed fortune. Take some of these scrolls. I think we're actually gonna need some of those scrolls in a bit, if I remember correctly. All right, let's head on out. Oh, gosh, to see old Devay's fear again. My gosh, maybe he'll have restocked some new woot loots there. And you know what? Hey, maybe we won't need to pop them open. Jeez. Like, you know, maybe we can make use of our disease. Maybe we'll say, Oh, Devay's fear, I, I, I can't... It's the corpus, Devay's! I can't do it! And then he'll just... He'll feel some major pity. We'll get major pity points from Devay's fear. And we'll just be able to pop that sucker clean right open. All right. Let's actually wait until it's daylight out. That way, you know, we can travel... In a good freaking way. It'll be beautiful as hell. Oh, look at that. My case of corpus has worsened. I forgot about that, yeah. That was actually an old uh, thing that you could do on the uh, the Xbox version. I, I feel like, yeah, it looks as though... Um, hmm, let's see. Uh, no, yeah, look. It, it has actually stayed the same. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, interesting. All right, let's um, grab a Mario time here. Let's see. Gosh, do I actually remember what I have it bound to? Let's see. Three, six. All right. Should be on seven. There we go. Bam. But yeah, on the uh, old Xbox version, when you got the old Corpus, what you could do is you could just keep resting and making your case of Corpus really, really bad. But because of uh, how it gets cured, and it's a it actually turns out to be an incredibly good thing for you. My God, it's, it's pretty wild. Just slaying a litz. Flying on over to old Devace. Devace, it's me! I got the corpus! I'm just like flying and shitting my pants through the air, soaring with shits, and, and corpus weepings are falling off of me, falling, flying out of my wing wing. Oh, God. It's terrible. What a terrible night to have a curse! The divine curse. Oh, Delena Mandis, I'm back! Can I help you? And I have the disease! Alright. <laughs> Jesus, no <laughs> fear. Here we are. Let's see. Oh, we should probably rest. Oh, we can't actually rest up here because it's too close to being in town. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's heal up and get some more Magicka back because we may just need it for in here. Who knows? It may be a reality that we need to face down. Jeez, holy wackadoo. All right, let's see. Uh, Beatty, Beta, do, do you just pronounce it Beta then? Yeah, Beta Fear. Uh, have you come to plunder the dungeon? Or have you got corpus disease? Yeah, I'm back, and I have corpus. Everyone who gets corpus disease comes to our corpusarium. It's not very pleasant, but at least they're all fed and cared for. It sounds very suspicious. You know, I like to think of uh, Devaith Fear as perhaps a bit of a, a Monty Burns, a Montgomery Burns character, you know? He's probably not up to any fucking good here. I mean, after all, what kind of a lunatic like, seals away ancient, uh, treasures inside of his, uh, his treasure chest and just says, Yeah, come rob them if you'd like. Maybe find out, uh, what I have in store. You'll never fucking know. It's all sorts of fantastic woot loots. Ha 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 ha. And he just has some sort of cackle and flies away on his witch's broom. Oh, gosh, we're getting stuck on one of his paper lanterns. What a villain! What a villain! Ah! Corpus is making me stuck into the ceiling! Corpus! Oh, ah, what the fuck? 
Oh, it's never been this bad before. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Look at this. Let's turn off our speediness. Maybe our speediness is getting us lodged on up in there. Oh, dear God. Oh, there we go. Whew. Had to go to walk mode. All right. Jesus Christ. Let's head on up here into the Hall of Fear. Oh, uh, how... We left a few of these woot loots behind, didn't we? We left a few of them, and we need to figure out just what the hell we're doing. We need to figure out which ones we want to plunder. Look, his chest of drawers. As it turns out, he doesn't have any underwear in here at all. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> that was a pretty good one, huh? All right, let's see. All these skulls, we could take these skulls. I put a few skulls in there, but I don't like the idea of them being servant skulls. That's a little bit fucked up, don't you think? It's just a little bit fucked up and weird. Like I said, the guy is definitely a villain. What do you think he's doing with all of the uh, corpus friend. infected people? Are you the one he's I probably trying about? to make some sort of, like, corpus army. He's like, ah, this this will be a fine new subject for me and my secret corpus army. <laughs> Good lord, what a fucking deviant. What a foul knave. Whew. Never know what to expect from him. All right. Let's see, we have a few levitate potions. Good lord, where could they be? If only I could do a control F and whip one out here real quick. But no, we have to go through- Oh, there we go, there's one of them. I think that was a custom created one. Not one of the two from old Caius. There we go. Alright, Divate, I'm back! And I've got the corpus! But you know what? Since I've got the corpus, I'm just going to help myself to this treasure. Oh gosh, look, we're back, and we're finally able to get this one. My god, our long-standing enemy. Jesus. Finally, at last, now that we have our corpus ability, we're able to actually, hopefully... Oh! Got it in one corpus to faith! Ugh! Uh, Daedric Sanctuary Amulet. Huh. Devaith's 11... <laughs> 1,155th key. All right, well, we're just taking it all. Don't mind if I do. All right. Let's see, what all else do we have up in here? Anything? Some scuttle? No? The waters of oblivion. Speaking of which, if you haven't noticed, oh my gosh, if you only come by for the uh, Morrowind Mondays, you just look at the playlist. Uh, wow, we got an oblivion playthrough going. It's been pretty exciting as well. If you're down for a, another old scroll, another Elder Scroll, wow, help yourself out to an Oblivion. I got him fresh, fresh picked just this morning. No corpus on him at all. Mm. All right, let's talk to Devaith. I think we've actually gotten all the chests worth getting. All right, what's up, old man? Say, that's an interesting Dwemer piece you have there. What can you tell me about it? I like, I like how he initially doesn't even recognize that we're, we're corpus up. I mean, what is our case here? A lot of people, a lot of regular folks are like, Oh my god, you're horrific! Get away from me, the corpus! But then other folks are like, uh, they, they don't even notice it at first. Alright, let's offer it as a gift. There you go. A gift? For me? How thoughtful and shrewd. I suppose you know I am a collector, and that such a gift is bound to please me. I congratulate you on your diplomatic skills. So... Why have you tried to butter me up? Come to consult the great Devaith Fear. You have the divine disease, want to plunder the dungeon, or leer at my daughters. He's definitely some kind of supervillain, isn't he? I mean, jeez. He's, he's trying to, like, make some sort of, like, evil X-Men situation. He's, like, got mutants. He's experimenting on them. What does it... What does he even do with the people's, like, belongings if they don't have loved ones? I think he just takes it. Maybe that's how he's gotten all these relics. They just belong to the people who have showed up with Corpus. And old Devay's here is like, oh, don't mind if I do. I'm a collector, you see. <laughs> this will get you into my Corpusarium. It's very beautiful. But then they just kind of throw him down there with some weird uh, guy with a robotic butt and some weird daughter situation. All right. Let's see. Tell me about uh, the Divine Disease. The magical principles of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous, far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I'm persuaded that it is in some manner the curse or blessing of a god, perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It saps the mind and destroys the body. 
but to a wizard, it is a profound and glorious mystery. A riddle worth a long lifetime of study. Wow, he sounds like Durance from Pillars of Eternity. <laughs> I just I just realized what I was doing. I mean, you know, they're almost cut from the same cloth. No, Devay Fears, he's a little more sinister, and Durance is a little more fanatical. All right, let's see. Uh, let's talk about Corpus Disease, I guess. How interesting. Did you know that Corpus makes you immune to disease? Have you ever heard of the prophecies of the Nerevarine? Ashlanders say the Nerevarine will be immune to the disease. I've always thought, maybe I have the Nerevarine down in my corpusarium, and I don't even know- Oh, he knows it, Devasphere, you're- you know. Ha <laughs> The Nerevarine is a fat, disgusting corpus monster, and mad as a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> He's totally some kind of villain. He's totally Mr. Burnson up here. I mean, look, he's even got the tower and everything. Jeez. Explain that you may fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. Tell him you know nothing about the Nerevarine prophecies. Well, I may be the Nerevarine, uh, old Devaith. It may be me. That's a fascinating story you tell. You might be the Nerevarine. Means nothing, of course. Corpus victims have all sorts of delusions. But... Let me think. I've got a potion. In theory, it should cure Corpus. Doesn't work, though. Probably kill you. Killed all my test subjects. But you've got nothing to lose. Before I give it to you, I want you to look around. Below, in the Corpusarium. <laughs> no, 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 what's in store if you don't take the potion. And while you're there, I want you to pick up a pair of boots from a victim. Calls himself Yagrim Bargon, my oldest patient. Andy fellow, fixes things for me. Bring the boots back, and then you can have the potion. All right. Let's see. Can we? Did we ask him yet yeah, about the Corpusarium itself? No, we did not. I collect victims of the divine disease in my Corpusarium in the caverns beneath my tower. Poor devils. Wretched existence. Constant pain. Ferocious appetites and passions. Yeah, uh, tell me about it. I got a ferocious appetite after all that sugar. Oh! <laughs> no, <laughs> no reason at all. No reason at all. Mad as marsh rats, but marvelous too, in their own way. Completely immune to disease. Live forever, barring accidents. Ancient wizards need projects to keep them occupied, and the Corpusarium is mine. Yeah, he's forming an army of mutated... Uh, Corpus dudes. Oh my gosh. He's just like down there collecting all of their weepings. Just milking them dry. <laughs> Old Devay's fear gets down there. Just starts yanking on him. You know, giving him a good yank. Get that weeping out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Devay likes. He likes the weepings. Cry for me, Corpus boy. Cry. <laughs> oh God. Devay, come on. Take it easy. These are sick people. You foul old man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, <laughs> the divine disease, did we ask him about that? Uh, okay, yeah, we we're all good. Alright, we're good here. Let's head on down <laughs> and see if we can find some fantastic treasures. Alright, did we already do a full clear up here? Yep, unlocked. That was where we got the old savior's hide, I believe, from that one. My gosh, we're still using that one today. Is there something what a I can do good for? fucking grab we got. Honestly, gotta love it. All right, looks like we are good to go. Popping on down. Let's see. Through the Onyx Hall. I mean, it doesn't really look very Onyx at all, does it? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it smells like Onyx. Maybe that's the idea. You always gotta remember all those oil factory senses, huh? Always gotta keep them in mind, because you never know. Maybe someone's describing some sort of scent. What do you think uh, the old Corpusarium smells like? Probably like, um... Some sort of, like, stinky cheese fart with asparagus piss mixed in, just for good measure. Mmm. Probably pretty damn delicious. Hopefully, I've mutated so badly that my nose has fallen off! Alright. Oh, we can't have Gordon down here. Let's not even risk it. Yeah, I remember this. This was uh, one of the last parts of the main quest I've ever done. And I definitely remember what this guy's about to say. He's about to say... Well, let's... What is it? He's about to what say, where's my pants? Want? Gosh, why is this guy down here without pants? Oh, no, this is part of the sinister sort of 
milking. Oh, the man milk. <laughs> Visathi Kai, you're loving it, aren't you? I'm Visath... Er, <laughs> Visathi. I'm Vistha Kai, warden of the Corpusarium. I'm here to warn you. Do not harm the inmates. If you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden uh, and protector. All right. Tell me about uh, plundering the dungeon. Oh, we forgot to actually ask Devate about the warden, didn't we? He brought that up, didn't he? Uh, for his own amusement, Devathfear permits thieves to test their skills by attempting to steal the treasures he keeps below in the Corpusarium. The dangers are fearful, the inmates are savage, and they carry the most terrible disease on Tamriel. The treasures themselves are guarded by traps and, tra and terrors, and the guards, myself chief among them, will take great delight in trying to kill you. Those are the rules. Abide by them or leave. All right. Uh, let's figure out about uh, these um, enduring their attacks. Do not harm the inmates. I will not tolerate you adding to their suffering. Indeed, they are brutal and ferocious. They will kill you if they can. Uh, but you are their guest. You may not harm them. Let's see. Or you will answer to me. All right. Let's see. What all else do we got here? Warden. Whoops. I'm the guardian and peacekeeper of the Corpusarium. I have spent long years in service to Lord Fear, first as a slave, then as a free hireling, and now as a friend and partner. He has been kind and generous to me, and I take his interests and the interests of those he shelters to heart. The treasures of his dungeon are open to sport, according to Lord Fear's whim, and you're welcome to try to steal them. But I, too, find great sport in hunting thieves. All right. Yep, fantastic. We know the rules. It's time to play. My gosh. Time for some old Hunger Games ass action. Let's see, what all do we have? A whole bunch of these weird things coming down. Maybe the, they won't notice me. Nope, they definitely do notice me. Good thing we're fast as hell. We can just do a super speed by run by. Let's see, we're gonna do some drive by looting in here. I mean, really, they should forgive me. I've got the corpus disease. They shouldn't mind that I, I might accidentally wipe them out. They shouldn't mind that at all. Let's see, let's whip out a uh, probe here. Pop this sucker open. Got the lock. Got the ready. Oh gosh. I mean, he doesn't... <laughs> he's kind of like having some trouble with the door, isn't he? Alright. Eighty uh, 800 second key. And some Dwemer goblet action. We, do we really need that? I mean, I've, we'll put it on top. That way we know that... Hey, we've looted it. From a glance, we'll be able to tell. There we go. Nice. All right, we'll just speed on by here. Oh, look, a skeletal corpse. Some loot loots there. Don't mind if I do. Let's cast some Kajito vision. Let's see, war skin drum. Oh, were they in here jamming out? Oh, look, another hidden loot loot. Gosh, they're all trapped as well. Is that even necessary? I mean, there's traps all over the place in here in the form of uh, horrific mutants. The Wolverine himself. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Um, another key. All right. Forgot what all these keys are for. Uh, can we? Oh, there we go. Whew. All right. Let's see, fellas. Uh, let's quick save here because we may actually drown inside of this. This looks pretty damn deep. All right. What do we have? Oh, it looks like a whole lot of freaking nothing, doesn't it? All right. Well, that that's okay. Gosh, is there really nothing down here? I suppose not. All right. Ugh. All right, let's see if this has anything on it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Whew, speeding on out of here. Go over to the next little area, next little clearing. Now, someone actually suggested that I make use of uh, detect enchantment, det detect uh, items and stuff. Those sorts of spells. I really should. That's a pro <laughs> that's probably a pretty good idea. But uh, you know what? Hey, it's not my fault. I've got the corpus. I've got the corpus. I have my disease. You can't blame it on me. Come on. Are you really gonna have a laugh at a diseased man? Come on. <laughs> As I just collapse on the floor, just saying, Oh, it's the corpus! I, I, I didn't pay my taxes! It's the corpus! Oh, I didn't tip the waiter! It's the corpus! Oh, the corpus made me forget! <laughs> let's see, what do we have in here? Come on, baby! There we go. Whew. And let's do another lockpick sitch. 
up here. Look, we can actually use an apprentice's lockpick. We are that skilled now. My god, how far we've come. Well, you know, I say that, and yet it has just broken right in our hands. There we go, let's try again. Come on, big money, big money. Oh, there we go. Another goblet. Another gobble goblet. Let's see. Which key is this? 678th key. Fair enough. Good. Dope. Rad. Alright, let's see. Which direction did we even come from? We came from in here. So you know what? We're going to do some emergency egging. We're going to do an emergency egg right down here. That way we, we know we've come from in there. Gotta always remember where you've come from. And the way we're going to do that is by laying eggs. It's our corpus disease in action, making us lay eggs like a Kwama. We've, we've just entered the state of mind of a Kwama. We're tripping some major balls. Uh, the, the divine disease in conjunction with, uh, you know, the old uh, moon sugar. Oh, it's doing a real fucking number on us. All right, let's see. Let's pop some of that nice uh, magic of potion action. There we go. Whew. This fella is coming in for the kill. There we go. Oh, got it. And let's see. Another miscellaneous. Let's see. There we go. Probe. Oh, he's getting close. There we go. Whew. More goblets. Man, we really do not need these goblets at all. Which key is this? 897th key. Good thing we don't need to find like a thousand keys. I wonder where he put all of those keys, by the way. Hmm. That's a good question. If he has that many keys, where are they? Maybe he's just got like a big janitor's key ring. Old Devaith Fear just has like a thousand uh, keys on his old key ring. All right, should we go into the bowels? I feel like it's really telling that it's called bowels, right? And we're going to have a movement down there. Let's see. Well, let's go on through this front doorway. That seems good. All right, let's quick save here. All right. Look, is there actually a little secret up here? Wow, we can just free ball and jump up here. We don't need any sort of special magic or whatever the hell. Look, we can, ugh, gosh, just just about barely. Ugh. All right, there we go. Whew. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't think we need to, you know, I think we could have just come on up here in a normal-ass way. But hey, I'm loving it. I'm digging it. Look. Oh, and finally, we can find old Jimbo John himself. That's right. Yargrim Bargain. <gasps> The last dwarf with a glorious robotic ass. Oh my gosh, and look at his dick. It's two pincers. Could you imagine that, having a pincer dick? Jeez, look, he's giving us a thumbs up and he's like stroking his glorious beard. <laughs> yeah, Yargrim Bargain. I love it, dude. <laughs> look, what's he doing with Oops, I fear. Oh no. <laughs> She's loving it too, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, she comes down here to party with him. Get away from her dad, away from prying eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Old Yargrim's got what you need, baby. <laughs> All right. You're here for the Dwemer boots. Or what kind of voice would he even have? I I I, <laughs> I don't even know. You're here for the Dwarven boot, the Dwemer boots. <laughs> Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwemer mage crafter could have done so much, but only idiots have created these boots. It shames my race that we must be judged by the works of such lackwit blunderers. Oh no. Let's ask about the boots. Lord Fear obtained these enchanted Dwemer boots from an unfortunate thief, and given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the fellow came to a bad end. But I can do nothing for them. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again, if such a pair of boots could still be fashioned in these benighted latter days. But I have done my best. Take them to Lord Fear with my sincere apologies. Gosh, he he's really focused on the boots. I mean, we should probably talk about some more stuff. I mean, he doesn't seem very, very uh, inviting to explain about all this shit. So let's talk about the Gracious Keeper. Let's see. I owe my life to Lord Fear. He took me in when I was a mad monster out of my mind. In time, I emerged from my dementia. And now I am quite lucid most of the time. Though my body is still a grotesque and useless prison, and I still have some feeble hope of a cure. Lord Fear has tried many spells and potions, 
None have helped me, but neither have they harmed me. If anyone can cure this disease, Lord Fear can. Huh. All right. Ask about his race. Once I was a master crafter in the service of Lord Kragnarak. Or Kragranak. <laughs> Gosh. His chief architect of the great Second Empire Freeholds and the greatest enchanter of his time. I could not match the genius of Lord Kragranak, but what he could envision, I and my colleagues could build. All of that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but my hands and eyes fail me, and my memories have long faded. My only consolation is each day to mock the gods who destroyed my race and condemned me to this bleak existence. Wow! <laughs> Every day, old Yargrim wakes up and just gives two big middle fingers to the gods. My god, the tribunal, take it. All right, bleak existence. Since the disappearance of the dwarves, I have been alone in this world, trapped in this grim prison. I can scarcely move. Really, your robo-butt doesn't help you? It looks like it really would, dude. I can scarcely move, and my fellow inmates are scarcely good company. The risk of corpus disease deters most visitors. But if you meet with cultivated minds, undaunted by the l terrors of the corpusarium, you might mention your recent interview with the last living dwarf. Oh, he finally spills the beans. All right. Well, first, before we ask about... Uh the last living dwarf. Let's ask about the disappearance of the dwarves. Hmm, I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in an outer realm at the time, and when I came back, my people were gone. I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years. Sounds like me. Searching our deserted colonies, looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then, a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found corpus disease, and I have been here ever since. I have theories, if you are interested. All right, uh, yeah, let's first ask about being the last living dwarf. This is how I style myself. Ooh, you styling, Yargrim? Damn, I mean, he must be. <laughs> Old what's butt over there is digging it. I do not know for a fact that I am the last. Uh huh. Leaves a lot open, doesn't it? There, huh? Very uh, cleverly written, huh? But in my travels thousands of years ago, I never encountered another. And since I have been here, I often ask Lord Fear, but he says he has never heard a credible rumor of another Dwemer on Tamriel or in any outer realm. Hmm. Okay. Let's ask about his theories. Lord Kragranak, the foremost arcane philosopher and mage crafter of my era, devised tools to shape mythopoic fuck me myth mythopoic forces, intending to transcend the limits of Dwemer mortality. However, in reviewing his formulae, some logicians argued that side effects were unpredictable, and errors might be catastrophic oh man they started half-life one that's what happened the dwarves were responsible for the old half-life games oh my gosh i think kragranak might have succeeded in granting our race eternal life with unforeseen consequences wow jeez okay man it's I, <laughs> yeah fair enough such as wholesale displacement to an outer realm or he may have erred and utterly destroyed our race. Hmm, all right. I think that's everything asked about, isn't it? That's about my race, bleak existence, last living dwarf theories. All right. Gracious Keeper. We asked about the boots. Disappearance of the dwarves. Did we actually ask? Yep, we did. Um, I, yep, I think we got it all. Okay. Uh, okay, see ya, Yargrim. What about you, uh, Oopsie Fear? Do you have anything to say? You're new here, aren't you? My name is Oopsie. Oopsie Fear. I take care of the corpus victims in the corpusarium. Oh, you're, yeah, you're really taking care of this guy, huh? All right, tell me about it. Be careful if you're going to prowl around down here. We will be very angry if you hurt any of our patients. And our patients can be quite a handful, I'll, t I'll tell you. Strong as Ogrub 
and twice as mean. But they seem to like it when I play the guar skin drum. Ah, uh, it probably has to do with, you know, like the Six House is also very, uh, uh, enthused with music. They're very musically inclined, aren't they, given the, the big bells, the bell hammers, and all the resonance bullshit that you always hear about. Same with the dwarves as well, don't they? The dwarves, uh, dig a, a resonant, a resonance, don't they? Uh, but they seem to like it when, they seem to like it when I play the gu guar skin drum. Quiets them down. There's a guar skin drum somewhere. Uh, around here someplace. They wander off with it sometimes. But find that guar skin drum and bring it to me. And I think I can calm them down for a while. Ah, yes, we found it, didn't we, earlier? We should have actually just nabbed it. Alright, forgot that you did this. Tell me about the Corpusarium. The Corpusarium is just one of Deve's fears many projects. Our mission here is partly humanitarian, partly research. He has been searching for a cure to corpus disease for a long time. A very long time. But in the meantime, we care for the corpus victims as best we can. The world outside is very cruel to corpus sufferers. They are much better off here with us. Hmm. You know what? I hope if they ever do a, uh, a new Elder Scrolls game that has a plot focusing on, like, the return of the dwarves and they all come back as, like, some horrific pissed off bitches and they're just pissed as hell they're just like get the fuck out of here get the fuck off of tamriel this is our place now get the hell out of here and they're just mad as hell they're like cyborgs and shit they're like giant dwarf cyborgs all pissed just throwing shit all over the place pissed as hell i hope old devate's fear is back for that one because i mean already the guy's like oh at least a thousand years old right if i remember correctly so i mean it's very feasible that he shows up in a sequel uh anyway Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, got off on a little bit of a tangent there. Let's see. Let's ask about Devathfir. As you know, he's probably the oldest and most powerful wizard alive. Not counting liches or divine sorcerers like Vivek, of course. Ah, she calls him a divine sorcerer. And there may be some older in the West, or on Somerset Isles, perhaps. And I don't think there's a kinder, more generous wizard alive. Not that there's much competition in the kind and generous wizard department, I'll grant you. <laughs> Very fair. Hmm, is he kind and generous? I don't know. I, I I still like to peg him as a bit of a Monty Burns. I mean, in some cases, old Mr. Burns is a kind and generous person as well, but also he's he's quite sinister. And I guess, you know what? Perfect. Nail on the head with uh, old DeVaith here. Sometimes he's, he seems a little sinister. All right, let's uh, ask about the uh, corpus disease. The disease takes many forms. For some, the progress is rapid and terrible. For others, the effects on the mind and body are very slow. It's a remarkable affliction, in that once having contracted corpus, one is completely unaffected by other diseases. We've always hoped that our research would permit us to isolate the beneficial aspects of corpus. But alas, we've not been successful. Oh, all right. Look, we can also steal... F Ooh, look, a big hunk of it right here. Ripe for the taking. Look, Tamrielic lore. Can we actually take their copy of Tamrielic lore here? Or is Yargrim gonna get mad as hell? Is he gonna be like, Stay away from my book! I love to read! Let's see. Ooh, I really wanna take it. Look, it's got all these fantastic woot loots within. Let's see. We quick save. Oh, no, they don't like it. It's okay. We can. Oh my gosh, he made a horrific growl. <laughs> it was the corpus! It was the corpus. Oh, look. Look, Gordon is bugging out for us. <laughs> Someone day trust friendly. Yeah, that, that it's been known to happen. Gordon uh, sometimes, you know, comes through the game files and just does a yelp. He, he does a scream. Old screaming Gordon. All right, let's see here. Can we actually, um, let's see. Can we actually do a probe situation here? Let's give, oh, look, they don't mind. They do not seem to mind at freaking all that we're doing this. Oh, here we go. Oh, gosh. There we are. Whew. Oh, man. They've got a full set of Dwemer bullshit. Oh, and a whole bunch of rare-ass books. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. Well, we should definitely take all of this, shouldn't we? Oh, look, we'll definitely take the Dwemer helm for sure. Even if we don't use the rest of it, we're definitely taking the helmet. We'll take all these books as well. We can read up on all of them later on. Oh, my gosh. What a bunch of exciting stuff to read. We should probably put, uh, put all these books rare ass books inside of us oh shit they are pissed as shit oh no right, let's quick load they didn't mind us actually looting the uh the chest or looting the fucking thing oh, my god fucking gordon come on 
I'm aware, Gordon. I'm aware. We can actually, um, maybe we can do a secret steal over here. Here we go. Let's see. Let's whip out the old freaking lockpick and get ready to have at it. Let's see. There we go. Success. Look, we are in sneaky mode. And let's get a probe going. All right. And let's see. Here we go. Yeah, we are stealthed. Let's quick save. Get ready to do some stealth action. Ooh. We definitely want that fucking hat. We don't have one of those yet. Ironically, probably the best loot of all for us. All right, grabbing all their books. There we go. Ah, and they are none the wiser. All right, very well. Let's see, we did... Oh, we did not loot this one yet. Now, do, are they fine with us looting this chest right here? You know what, let's... Before we forget, let's go run over and grab that guar skin bullshit. Right? Oh, that is the wrong ass way. All right, let's head on over here. Let's see, where did we find that guar skin shit at? Should definitely do that. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, remember? <laughs> we went around a weird-ass way, didn't we? Yeah, it, it must have been in the other level, huh? The opening area. May have been the fucking case. Look, we can actually just loot this one here scot-free. Bam. Trap disarmed. Look, I think we got... There we go. And let's whip out the journeyman's lockpick. There we go. Picking it and picking it. And there we are. Got a... Fucking big ass key. Pop that down right on top. There we are. Nice. And let's see. Got some gold on this dude. Jeez, did. Okay, yeah, there we go. It circles around over there. Alright, let's come on in through here. Where was that guar skin bullshit at? Oh, jeez. See, did we actually come on. Oh, yeah, that's what's his butt. Alright, fair enough. Let's see, where's that. Uh, I want that guar skin shit. Let's see, did we come in here? Yeah, we came in here. Gwarskin was not in there. Gosh, that guy's just missing us like crazy. We're going by too damn fast. Too fast, too furious. Man, someone ring up DMX. Have him sing me a tune. For all this corpus plundering that's going on. My god. Here we go. Nice. Dope. Alright, let's run on freaking back. My gosh, I love these. Going so fucking fast. Ugh. Alright, corpusarian bowels. Here we go. All right. Oop. Sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now start playing your drum for me. I see you found a guar skin drum. Yes, I did. Yes, that guar skin drum will do perfectly. I'll take it and play a little soothing rhythm. And I think that will pacify the poor corpus victims, so they won't be so savage and aggressive. All right. They do seem to find the drum comforting. Poor things. I think they'll be a lot more peaceful now. All right, cool. Dope. And we have looted that. Here, we can get this one now. Here, actually, let's quick save in case for some reason they don't like it when we do this. Maybe it's it's always considered stealing, but they just because they're not around, they don't mind it. They, you know, out of sight, out of mind, right? All right. Got a probe going on here. There we are. Oh, yes! Volendrung! There we go. Nice. We didn't even go to check what it does. Oh yeah, it doesn't do anything. Huh. I do believe it's it's used in something. I think it's uh, one of the ones that you can actually take for uh, the old who's a what's it. Let's see, can we actually uh, steal this book? I really want this book. I can't remember if we actually do have a copy somewhere. Let's see. And, oh, there we go. And yoink. Oh shit! Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, sure. I'm, hands off, I'm, I'm not taking it, I'm not taking it. Oh god, Gordon, come on, don't don't curse me, Gordon. Don't curse me. Oh phew. All right. Let's see. Let's head on in deeper, look for some more goodies. We can definitely get a copy of that book elsewhere, I believe. In fact, we may we may already have one. I'm just being a greedy bastard. As is usually the par for the course, right? All right, let's see. Where are we all going? Huh. Ugh, doing a sick jump. Let's see. Did we actually already clear all this out? I thought we came to a... Oh, yeah, there it is. Isn't it? Huh. Did we actually get everything? Jeez, now I don't even freaking know. Oh, God. We've gotten lost. We've gotten lost in the Corpusarium. Oh, God. What a horrific fate. What a terrible fate. We're down here with the Corpusarium people. And you know what? Maybe now we belong. We've gone mad. 
We've gone mad with the corpus. Let's see. All right, let's just head on out this way. I think it's time to just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my way! You corpus people! Go on, talk to old, uh, Javed's fear. Get a, get a nice potion going. Too bad you can't just steal the potion off of him. Maybe you can. Maybe that's the alternate path. I can't remember. Let's see. That's the interesting thing about the main quest is how there's that alternate path in case you really screw up in a major freaking way. Oh gosh, should we just... Yeah, we just circled around. <laughs> Shit! Alright, let's see. Oh, here we go. Maybe it was in this area that we hadn't explored everything. Maybe that's the case. Now, let's go over here and have a look real quick. Let's see, can we heal up? Yeah, we can. Alright, there we go. Awesome. Alright, pop this sucker on. Yep, looted that. Looted and looted. We went up there, I remember that. Okay, yeah. We're just circling around now. We're going in circles. Good God. Alright. Just wanted to be thorough in case we missed out on some fantastic woot loots. Because there's, there's some fair treasures down here. Alright. Speak. What's up, uh, Vista Kai? You've been warned. Yep, I'm I'm good to go, dude. My trade, um, let's see, endure their attacks, yep. Alright, yep, we're good to go. Fine. Let's head on over to old, uh, Devay's Fear. Tell him that we, uh, we got that shit done. Got them boots. See, we didn't actually even look at the boots. Dwemer boots of flying. I like to imagine that maybe they're actually just, like, uh, some jet boots, some rocket boots. Is there something You know, Devay's Fear is trying to get some rocket jumping boots. My god, could you imagine that? Old man Devay's Fear. Just, like, rocketing around, just like some Iron Man shit. Jeez. What a fucking guy. Alright. Let's see, how in the world do we even get up there? Hall of Fear. This is the place, I think. Good lord. I'm a little worried about these, uh, load screens here. <laughs> I feel like we're going through too many, and we're on the verge of just crashing. <clears throat> Let's see. All this is unlocked. Oh, look. Pillows here. Maybe... Is she gonna notice if we take these? Look. These are extra rare corpus pillows. Oh, man. That's the good shit. Alright. Let's head on out now. Let's see. Are there any other pillows? No. Welcome, friend. They unfortunately Are you sleep. The one I've heard? I don't know where they even sleep. Alright. Let us whip up another levitate potion. Let's see. Levitate, levitate. Look for that beautiful purple. Water breathing. Well, that would have been useful earlier. Jump. Let's see... Levitate. Let's see. Jesus, I know we've got some. We got like two of them from old uh, Caius, didn't we? Good lord. Let's see. <laughs> My god, this is hell. Oh, there they are. Whew! Alright. Whew! Where are you, Devaith? There you are. Alright, let's quick save. Alright! Yeah, it suits Welcome me very well, but I do also have the corpus. Alright. Well, well, did you get my boots? No boots, no potion. The boots first, please. And now, I'll give you the potion on the following condition. You must drink it here, before my eyes. It should act immediately. I, I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed? Uh, yep, give me the potion. Let's do it. Good. Open your mouth and close your eyes, and get ready for a great surprise. Good. Now swallow. Goodness. Good grief. Look. Look. It's working. Remarkable. Let me check your skin. Your eyes. Your tongue. Amazing. I think it worked. No sign of the disease at all! Of course, you'll still have corporous disease, just like I planned. But all your symptoms are gone! Marvelous! I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate inmates. But I'll answer any questions you have before you go. Well, do I really even have any questions? Let's ask about the corporous disease. See? No more symptoms! Amazing! I'm a bit surprised myself. Let's ask about the potion again. It worked, didn't it? Remarkable! Perhaps it will work on the other inmates. I'll have to proceed carefully, of course. You may be an exceptional case. Uh, okay, let's ask about Oopsie. Uh, girl with the biggest heart, yep. I don't think we really have any other things to ask about. Plunder the dungeon, we've done all that. The warden. 
Uh, Vista Kai. Yep, excellent fellow, fine companion. Not an intellectual, you understand, but good company for me and my daughters. Yep, they fuck him. They fuck Vista Kai. All right, fair enough. I think we are a-okay. We can ask about the... Yep, thank you for your gift. Oh! Ah! We've received his blessing! What if we just ran away and we never got it cured? Oh, look at that. Resist corpus disease. Resist blight disease. Resist common disease. Oh my gosh, the immunity is out of control. All right, do we actually still have the corpus uh, blessing? No, it seems like they, uh... Yeah, whatever, um... It must be like the Morrowind code patch or something like that. That has changed how that functions. But, uh, honestly, you know what? Eh, we really don't need it. It does get pretty ridiculous if you stack it up too much. And I wasn't planning on doing that anyway. All right. Well, when next we come back, holy crap, we're going to head back to old Caius and check in, report in, and tell him, Hey, I still got the corpus! It's it's just no, uh, no, no symptoms. We're a-okay. Till next time. Peace. Peace.